All right, so you're getting ready to get your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack ready uh, to be inserted into a toy. Uh, when we buy these, we buy these splitters. That allows us to have two female ends. Uh, we actually don't use the male end. So all you're gonna do is get some wire snippers and down here at the base, they'll, they'll cut wire. All I'm gonna do is slip it down here and I'm gonna cut that male end right at, right at the connector. Uh, <laughs> there we go. And I'm gonna separate these into two separate connectors. So now just dealing with a single connector, uh, we need to remove this black outside casing. And in order to do that, we'll use some wire strippers on the 20 gauge setting. Basically all you do is you fit the, uh, the wire in that little crease, pinch down, okay? That basically cuts the outside casing. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the wire or I can rotate the, the, the uh, stripper itself. And I'm gonna just lightly kind of pull off that casing, okay? That exposes our wires underneath. So inside here, you can see that there's a few different wires. Gather up all of these bare copper uh, wires, and I'm gonna twist them all together to form just a single wire. So inside that headphone jack, you'll see the red wire, a white wire, and that bare copper wire. Uh, what we need to do is, is combine the red wire and the copper wire. So we'll strip a little bit of the red casing off and combine those two. So you can see I've got my bare wire and my red wire together and I've got my white wire. Um, I need to protect this bare wire and the red wire. Uh, we don't need all of this exposed because this can actually short out a toy if it touches something. So we'll use a heat shrink wire cover to so we'll slip it over the wire and heat it up with a heat gun and that will shrink that cover down and that will protect these wires. All right, so I'm gonna take just a little bit of this heat shrink wire cover. I'm, I don't need that much. I'm just gonna snip off about that much. Now I'm just gonna slip this over my bare and red wires, just like this. I'm gonna try to move it all the way down to the base so that there's as little exposed wire as possible. Now all I need to do is use a heat gun and I'm just gonna heat this wire cover up for just a second and it will shrink down and then it'll be good to go. That's really all it takes to, for those wire covers to shrink. Uh, now I need to remove the casing on this white wire. And it's a good idea to kind of remove the same amount as your other wire. It just makes things a little easier. So I'm just gonna pinch like I did on the last one, pinch that casing and kind of pull off. And I'll twist these together and make sure that uh, all those wires are tight. All right, so this headphone jack is done now. Uh, we've got our red and copper wire together. We've got it protected with a heat shrink wire cover and we've got our white wire separate. Uh, this one is good to go. It's ready to be put in a toy. Uh, when we do put it in the toy, we wanna make sure that we secure it uh, with a zip tie. So we'll drill a hole. In many cases, we'll drill a hole through the toy, run this through, and then we need to put a zip tie on the inside of the toy. That will basically keep this cord from being able to be pulled out of the toy, which is really important so that we don't uh, disconnect our soldering points. Uh, so remember to put your zip tie in there on the inside of the toy, again, just so that we can't pull this out. You want to kind of give it a tug and make sure it's not going to go anywhere. Um, but now this is ready to be soldered and uh, you're good to go.